everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Chloe Bailey from the group Chloe and Halle just dropped her debut solo single called Have Mercy and she had people on social media going crazy. And I'm gonna talk about that video and that song, but first, I wanna highlight some other artists. One of the artists I wanna highlight is the singer Caitlin Nicole. She has a song called Liar, and she actually released this song earlier in the summer. And I love this song. I have this song on repeat. Caitlin Nicole is a very, very talented singer. And some of you may have recognized her from the show American Soul. And she has done some pretty amazing covers of other popular songs. Her voice is like butter, literally. She actually did a song association on Terrell's YouTube channel. Shout out to Terrell. And you can hear her voice for yourself. Her tone is amazing. I love it. Caitlin is an artist that you all should definitely keep your eyes out for. I really, really like her song, Liar. So if you get a chance, please check that out. Also, I wanna highlight the singer and songwriter, Victoria Monet. Victoria dropped her single, Coasting, last week. And this is another song that I love. The song is just a whole vibe. It's sexy, it's cool. I love the sample that was used as well. I think she sampled Groove Theory's song, Tell Me, which was also a sample of the Mary Jane Girl song, All Night Long. But I think Victoria drew more inspiration from Groove Theory's version. And I really like the whole 90s vibe and sound of it. It really is just a vibe. And Victoria doesn't miss when it comes to creating great melodies and great songs. So I definitely give her new song, Coasting, a thumbs up. Also, I wanna talk about one of my favorite R&B girls, Ari Lennox. Ari Lennox just released a new single called Pressure. And this song is a whole bop too. It has an infectious melody. It's flirty, it's cute, it has a bounce to it. And it definitely has more of a commercial sound to it. I think this song will do very well on the R&B charts. And I think it's a smart single to lead with. The song doesn't deviate too far from Ari's soulful sound but the song is catchy enough to kind of reach a broader audience. So I think this was a great single choice and I hope it does well. So if you get a chance, listen to Ari's new single, Pressure. Also, just a reminder, Aaliyah's self-titled album dropped today as well. And this was actually her third and last solo album. And it's hands down her best album out of her whole discography. This album has hit songs like Rock the Boat, try again more than a woman and we need a resolution i mean just great music and the album as a whole is a masterpiece from beginning to end and i do feel a little conflicted about listening to it because i know that Aaliyah's brother and her mother won't profit from the stream so it's kind of been conflicting but i love Aaliyah's music so much that it's really hard to not listen to it. Aaliyah's third album is one of my favorite R&B albums of all time. So I can't resist the temptation to stream it, but I do feel kind of guilty though. I really wish that Aaliyah's uncle, Barry Hankerson, would do right by Aaliyah's family and break bread with them. I know he's relaunching his label, Black Ground Records, and he's trying to push a new artist, but if he wants his artist to be successful, I really think he needs to do right by Aaliyah's family. That's just how I feel about that. Now, let me talk about Chloe Bailey. Chloe had the internet going crazy when she dropped her new video for her new single, Have Mercy. Now, Chloe has been teasing this single for over two months now, and people have been waiting for her to drop it. But the time has finally come, and Chloe dropped her video, and she had everybody shook. Now, let me talk about the song Have Mercy first before I get into the video. What do I think about the song? Well, I think the song is a hit. The song has the potential to be a smash hit. It's very, very catchy. You can't help but dance to it. I mean, literally, anytime I hear that melody in my head, I just wanna dance. I keep bossing like I do. I keep bossing like I do. I keep saucing like I do. I mean, the melody is just so addictive 
And for some reason, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Sierra song goodies. She's just bragging about how fine she is and how she gets the guys weak to their knees. But Sierra said that she wasn't trying to give her goodies away. Chloe, however, was putting on more of a tease. She said, you can't get up in between, but if you're trying to get a piece of me, I can teach you a few things. So Chloe is in her hot girl phase right now, and she's showing another side to herself musically. The song Have Mercy is a more pop sound, and even though the song is super catchy, I wouldn't say that it's up to Chloe's musical standard, at least from what I've heard from her. Chloe has a really high musical intelligence. When you listen to some of the music that she wrote and produced with her sister Hallie, you could clearly hear how musically sharp her ear is. Now, Have Mercy is not necessarily a song that requires a lot of musicality, but I do like the fact that Chloe sprinkled some of her signature harmonies and ad libs and background vocals on the song to kind of make the song sound more like her. She wasn't over singing or anything like that, but she definitely gave the song the flavor that it needed. Now, let me talk about the video, okay? So the video was very interesting. Now, Chloe kind of used this whole college sorority house theme, and she was like the it girl on campus that caught all of the guys' attention, but there's a twist. What these guys don't know is Chloe was actually a modern day Medusa. So she had these large headdresses and these blonde faux locks in her hair to kind of represent the snakes on Medusa's head. And anytime Medusa would look into the eyes of somebody, that person would turn into stone. So she was turning all of these men into stone and the news was wondering, where are the missing men? The missing men got caught up under Chloe's spell. That's what happened. <laughs> so the video kind of had a horror twist to it. I wasn't expecting that, but it was kind of like Scream Queens meets Michael Jackson's Thriller. It kind of was giving me that vibe, but Chloe put her own spin on it. So I thought it was an interesting concept. Also, I did like some of the Beyonce inspired looks in the video as well. I feel like with some of the looks, Chloe was paying homage to Beyonce. If you don't know, Beyonce is her mentor and she's also the head of her label called Parkwood Entertainment. So Beyonce definitely has a huge influence on Chloe, but I do think Chloe is coming into her own. And as time goes on, we'll see how she evolves as a solo artist. Also, I wanted to point out some of the guest appearances in her video. Beyonce's mother, Tina Lawson, made a quick appearance in the video, and the artist, Brie Runway, and the actor, Rome Flynn, were in the video as well. So it was a nice surprise to see them in the video. Overall, I thought the video was good. Chloe is definitely not coming to play any games. You could tell that she's hungry and passionate and she's gonna give 110% every single time she performs. And I can't wait to see her performance at the VMAs. I know she's gonna kill it. I know that her, Doja Cat and Normani are going to steal the show. And speaking of Normani, the VMAs did end up adding her to the lineup of performers at the last minute. Now, there was a little bit of controversy surrounding this whole VMA situation because Normani said the VMAs didn't invite her and her fans were outraged. They were demanding that she performed. In fact, they were flooding the VMAs and MTV social media pages with requests for Normani to perform. And what ended up happening is the artist Lord actually dropped out of the VMAs lineup. So they ended up giving the slot to Normani. And I'm glad Normani got this chance to perform because I know she really needs this performance to help promote her single Wild Side, but it's kind of unfortunate that she had to go through all of this just to get a slot. And I honestly believe that MTV was trying to avoid having too many black performers on stage. That's what I feel. I feel like that's the reason why they didn't initially invite Normani to perform. But when Lord dropped out, they had no choice but to give the slot to her because her fans were sending in so many requests for her to perform. And it would be silly of the VMAs to block Normani because she clearly generates a lot of interest. So now that Normani is added to the lineup, the show is going to be a lot more interesting. You have Doja Cat, Chloe, and Normani performing on the same night. Whew, 
All three of them are gonna shut that show down. You watch and see. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.